Welcome to our third video by Media360 on making a hip hop beat with FL Studio 13. In this video, we're going to select the instruments using the browser, put the instruments on the channel rack. We're going to select all the instruments we need for this project before we can start actually doing the project. We need the instruments. So we shall be using the browser if you follow along. All the instruments I've chosen to use ship with FL Studio 13 and I've tried to use only instruments that you can find. So if you come to your browser, which is on the left side of your screen, go to parks, we're going to start by choosing the snare, come to parks, go to drums, then click on snares, we're going to use the 707 snare by the way using fl studio it's your preference there's so many snares just alone in this folder but i've decided to go with 707 snare so you just hold it drag it and put it there let me delete that ctrl z and um, we're using the 707 snare okay Okay, let's move on to our next instrument. Um, we shall add a clap. I like uh, transitioning from a snare to a clap. So we'll go to a sound folder. And if you click on the, the snares folder, it collapses the instruments within the folder. So click on it because sometimes the browser can become a mess if you have so many folders open. So we click on it to collapse it. Okay. Now we're going uh, to get a clap. We're going to go to percussions. We're going to go to GR clap to. You hold it, drag it. I'll put it on top of this snare because we don't need this snare. Okay. That's the clap we're going with for this project. Okay. Well, let's collapse this. Um, we have to get all the instruments we're looking for. So, we're going to go to parks. And we're going to go to instruments. I'm looking for a choir. So I'm going to go to orchestra. All these are different types of choirs. I'm going to get the choir O. And uh, something I have to tell you. Some of the instruments in the browser, when you click on them, you may not hear them because they're generators. They're not sounds, they're not waves. So we're going to have to drag this and put it on the channel rack. Then it will bring out the plugin settings. Okay, don't worry about this. We shall talk about that later. These are the settings for the choir that we've just imported. You can have a listen. Try out, have fun, play along with uh, all these choirs. You don't have to bring one choir, you can bring two choirs, three choirs, okay? I'm just going to click here to close this, but it can still get to it through the choir, okay? Uh, let's move on to our next instrument. Uh, we're going to have to get the kicks. Uh, the most important thing about the beat are the kicks and the snares, because when you're making a hip-hop beat, we're replicating a drum kit and you need a kick and a snare the most important things to make a beat once your kick and snare sound good your beat will most definitely sound good let's look for a hard kick uh, since we already have a snare okay um, we're going to go to legacy these are the old beats that shipped in from the old version of fl studio um, we're going to go to legacy where we are we're going to go to drums, we're going to go to hip hop, and we're going to get a uh, kick too. I like hard kicks with bass, I don't like soft kicks, but there are plenty of kicks here. You can try them out, but let's go for kick too. We're just going to hold, drag it, and place it on the snare because I won't be using this snare. I've replaced the snare with the kick kick too okay and uh, another thing that is a hat what is a hat 
This is a hat. It's also part of the drum kick. So I like to get two or three hats. So we'll just take this hip hat, drag it, drop it there. And another hat. I like to have three hats, but we're going to use two hats for this. Feel free. You can drag as many hats as possible. It doesn't mean all the instruments in your channel rack, you have to use them. These are just the instrument that you would like to use. It doesn't mean you're going to use them all. Okay, so let's collapse that. After getting the kicks and the snares, now we're going to go for some strings, some instruments to make the beat sound good. We're going to add uh, some instruments and if you follow along, I'll show you how to find them. Come to plugin presets, go to generators, come down to generators, go to citrus, then go to bell. When you reach bell, uh, dream bell, we're going to be using this dream bell. I want you to drag it along and uh, drop it under our instruments. This, this is the plugin. These are all functions you can change that affect the sound and the output of the bell. So, this is the dream bell. We shall, we shall be using that later. Then, uh, let's get some other instruments that we're going to use. Collapse that, go to brass. We're going to take greasy, greasy two. Okay, that's greasy. It's a brass sound. Then we're going to take smooth four, drag it and drop it. That the smooth four, that's how it sounds, but if you click, it won't sound. You have to drag it here to listen to it. Then, finally, we're going to go to App and take Echoes. Where is it? Echoes 2, drag it, drop it there. Okay. And then that's the Echoes we're taking. Okay, we'll use that for now. So let's go back to the playlist. This is the playlist. And to move along the patterns, you click hold until the line, the white line disappears. Then you drag, drag down to go to pattern one. We're starting from pattern one. Okay. And uh, that's the end of this video. We have selected the instruments that we wanted. We put them on the channel rack. In the next video, I'm going to lay out the kicks, I'm going to lay out the snares, and I'm going to lay out the hats, and join me in the next video.